Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Nate Wine here. Yeah. Well, anyways, Saturday off. Yeah, did a lot of stuff today. Went to the gym. I didn't get to go on Tuesday because I overslept. Well, actually, I, I work until like 2.30 anyways, but I usually leave, you know, darn around 1.30. Yeah, it's beautiful. You know, because I had to go in the locker room to change the clothes there and stuff. Sometimes you get snacks on the way. Oh, shit. So, you know, I went through today and stuff. Just, well, I had to skip a couple workouts there. I only did just the squats and the bench presses. So, anyway, I went over to the pool, the Heather Hills pool, and I remember there was a guy, you know, told me uh, that I could go in there for seven bucks, you know, for a non member. You know, to pay to get in. So, you wouldn't have to pay, you know, 225 a year for the membership, which is a lot of money. I think it used to be 250, but they they dropped down the price. So anyway, it was a guy that works there. So I thought maybe he knows what he's talking about and everything. And I should have got the name of this guy though, just in case. So I went over there, and the girl on the counter that's I bought it, and, and like I told her about, I explained you know my side of the story about about going in for some fun. And she said they don't do that. You had to pay the extra. But like I'm thinking in my head, like why the hell I'm gonna spend. 225 a year for the membership if the pool is going to be open for three and a half months. Yeah, that's it. Like from Memorial Day weekend to Labor Day weekend. I mean, that's just fucking pointless. I'm going to pay that much. Especially if I'm working second shift from, you know, 2.30 to 11 at work here almost every day. I mean, Monday through Friday. And I'm available Saturday to Sunday. I do a lot of stuff like on Saturdays. And all of a sudden on Sundays, and I don't have that much plans for today that might be a good chance to go after I get to the gym. So, you know, I got myself ready for nothing. And a friend of mine, I saw on Facebook that on stats that he was going to pull and asked which pool he's going to. And he said, well, right where he lives at in uh, Wolf Creek, the apartment complex there. But he said that, uh, well, there's a pool pass over there. And it's going to cost, no, it wasn't cost anything, but for some reason he lost his pool pass or something. He snuck out there at night, got caught. And then he took his pass, and he's like sneaking in, like, oh no, I'm not sneaking in the pool with you, man. It's not gonna be like in uh, what's the name of that city over in Texas uh, about that pool incident about that girl getting, you know, body slammed by the cop for non-compliance. It's not gonna be like that same situation in Texas at that pool party. That all these hoodlums came in, you know, to the pool party to think it was some kind of party there, you know, and then to be honest, it was a private pool owned by a subdivision. And it was owned by the HOA. So, uh, even though I don't agree with their stupid policies and shit, but yeah, it's just, just to keep those weirdos away from the damn pool causing problems. Because, you know, they went to the damn pool because, uh, I don't know, the, the, the girl who's throwing the party don't even live there. You know, it might be a good spot to pull a pool party. And plus, the, the DJ sent invitations to almost everybody on Facebook. And like, oh, okay, this is stupid. Like, if I'm throwing a party, I'm not gonna sit, make an event of that on Facebook. I mean, I'll just send a personal message to anyone on the friends list of who I think who's gonna make it, and they'll make it there. And then maybe start make phone calls in case they're on Facebook. But I'm not gonna have people invited there, anyways. So anyway, it's almost the same kind of incident. You know, people were just jumping over damn fence, and then all of a sudden, you know, people tell them to, you know to leave, but they refuse to leave, so they call the police. And one woman got attacked anyway just for telling them, hey, why don't you get the hell back into your neighborhood and stuff like that. And she got attacked. And it's only how she got accused of being a racist. I mean, this little white woman. And like, really? No, she just said that because, A, you're trespassing. B, you don't live there or pay your way to go to the pool. And C, you don't, you don't go to the private pool for a neighborhood that you don't live in causing problems. So anyway, it's, I don't want to be like the same kind of situation going, sneaking in the Wolf Creek pool. You know, my friend, I said, nah, it's probably not a good idea. Just wait till you somehow get your pool pass and see if uh, you can break a gas law. I mean, there's all kinds of hot girls in that, you know, that park complex in that pool. I don't think about being moved there one of these days. Because you pay like uh, $350 a month for a room. It's a little bit more than what I pay a month, you know, for rent. That's it. He's really stuff. But I'll probably be closer to work anyway. I mean, it's in Raleigh, but I 
first I was thinking about moving out of town, the countryside. But I got my job over, you know, transferred over Spring Forks Road in Raleigh, so I probably couldn't move too far away. Yeah, so anyway, we're going going over to Nightdale. There's like an event going on at uh, Applebee's. It's a swirling event, so it's like a dating event for uh, both uh, black women and white men. So I was thinking, yeah, I'll join that anyways. I mean, I did outside my race. So uh, if anybody don't like it, well, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to deal with bigotry on my Facebook, I mean my YouTube account. I don't call race, racial bigotry. Anyways, uh, get on to uh, what's doing. On the way to order that uh, Applebee's, and then probably just go back to Gar and then go hang out with some friends over at Champions like you folks do. Not doing the do what tonight, so I'm just gonna take a little break from that and just uh, you know just do, sing you know a few more songs. Yeah, just hoping that song I'm inspired is gonna be on. Yeah. So anyway, this is like a longer way to get to. Nightdale, and I think, oh shoot, it's 8.53, and it's, it's been done to start until 4 o'clock, and we're not even there yet. So anyway, I'm about to get some stuff over the table today, before I want to go to the table, you know, close, and we can call the shirt. I got to bump into a girl that I was supposed to have a date with back in uh, last winter. And, you know, worked at the motion desk, but I haven't been seeing her since probably February because the motion was working different days that I thought you wanted. And, but she didn't act all, she didn't act like she missed me anyway. It's like she's just, I don't know, I'll get her missing this crap. I don't know what she got against me, but I didn't do nothing to her. It's like, first she was interested in me, asked if I had a girlfriend. I, you know, I told her I was dating somebody at the time. And so, I was gonna like jump around to three point that seat time at my expense. Back then I was making that much money anyway, so I was gonna do risk it. Besides, I mean the side the girl I was eating at that time worked at the same store. So I was gonna do that. Anyways, uh oh, let's see. But anyway, she didn't give her problems about, you know, keep on with dinner because I said, you know, my treat, you know, she said she wanted to like the fruit Tuesday. And I think it was on to carry you because I don't know no one because it's been a long time since I've made that Ruby Tuesday now. Or Ruby Tuesday, whatever you call it. So, anyway, uh, what was I going to say? Well, well, I'm thinking, you know, this girl, like, I think her job's took it over like time for a dollar anyway. She's a single mom. Here's another question. Uh, it kind of puzzles me. I never asked this, but she got like three vehicles. She got like a Ford Expedition, a Honda CRV, and a Mitsubishi Galan. And then I'm thinking to myself, how the hell or where the hell she got the money? Wow, well, there's three cars. Really? And she's a single mom, and she's working in the membership desk. I think it's probably making, I don't know, almost $15 an hour. I mean, she's been probably there for like three or four years. I'm thinking to myself, how, how the hell does she even afford three of those vehicles if they're, you know, on bi weekly pay? Yeah, I mean, I couldn't even afford to have all three of those vehicles at the same time, especially at my pay, which I'm making a little bit more. Well, I'm not making more than her, but, you know, I'm making more than what I did back in San Francisco. Yeah, and then, so I'm thinking, I don't know, either she was asking too much for child support each month, or she had just had some big fat uh, tax refund because she has a daughter as a, you know, a dependent, which is going to cost probably the taxpayers money, like getting fucking five, five, six grand each year in tax refund just because you have a kid. What about the single father? I mean, is he? I mean, is he getting some money back that he overpaid? What the hell? What's the deal? With him? Oh, anyway, so I, mean, I probably don't need somebody like that anyway because you know, single mothers, uh, it, it can be a pit and drag sometimes. Yeah, especially these girls, like, who don't have kids. Like, I don't know 
Five, four. 